I'm artist Aaron Rutten, and today I'd like to discuss imposter syndrome as it relates to artists. I'll also share some tips for how to overcome self-doubt. So what is imposter syndrome? Imposter syndrome is when an artist doubts their accomplishments and fears being exposed as a fraudulent or underqualified artist. So who experiences imposter syndrome? Well, a lot of artists experience imposter syndrome. Studies suggest that more than 70% of people experience imposter syndrome at some point in their career. Shoot, even Neil Armstrong claimed to have experienced imposter syndrome. Oh wait, the moon landing was fake. What are some of the consequences of imposter syndrome? You might experience depression, anxiety, low self-esteem, the fear of being exposed. You might even have a fear of success. You'll lack the courage or confidence to take risks, and you'll lack the drive to take on big opportunities. You'll be bogged down by mental garbage that'll hold you back, and worst of all, you'll never be able to enjoy your accomplishments. So what are some things that might make you feel like an imposter? I think one of the biggest influences comes from society putting pressure on artists to outperform each other. And even worse, the bar has already been set really high by famous artists. The art industry is also very competitive. And if you're a public figure, then comments from the public might make you feel like an imposter especially if they're negative comments. It might also be a relationship, either romantic or platonic, that makes you feel like an imposter. For example, maybe a friend or a family member doesn't support you as an artist. Another reason why you might feel like an imposter is because you're not confident in your abilities as an artist. For example, there's a lot of artists out there who lack a formal art education and do not have an art degree. You might feel like an imposter because you're addicted to social media and getting likes that social media validation that everyone needs. You might also be taking on projects that are too difficult, or maybe you're taking on something that's unfamiliar to you. You might even feel like an imposter because you have some guilt surrounding your artistic process. Maybe you used a reference photo, maybe you traced, maybe you used premixed colors, maybe you didn't use the most expensive art supplies, maybe you did a digital painting. These are all reasons that you might be doubting yourself. You may also have guilt surrounding your success. For example, you might feel that it's unfair that you're successful while other artists are not. So what can be done to overcome imposter syndrome? Most importantly, you should avoid the imposter cycle. Don't view success or opportunity as luck. View it as something you earned through personal ability. Don't attribute success to skill because there's plenty of highly skilled artists out there who are out of work. If society accepts you for what you are, then you must also learn to accept it. It's illogical to ignore data. If you're successful and people are buying your art or doing whatever they do that makes you money or gives you exposure, then you really just have to go with that. You've already proven you're not an imposter. You have to reality check yourself. Whether big or small, you're having success as an artist. There are countless aspiring artists who do what you do, but never get anywhere. You have to accept that feeling like an imposter is part of being human, and you're not the only one going through this. Even the artists you look up to have feelings of self-doubt. Learn to appreciate introspection or self-reflection because it's one of the driving forces that leads to artistic growth. Self-doubt is just an inner voice. You can choose to listen to it or ignore it. So start reframing your thoughts to be more positive. Now, sometimes what goes on in your head is tied to your physical well-being as well, so make sure to get exercise, eat healthy food, and if imposter syndrome is really affecting you negatively, go to counseling or see a doctor. And last but not least, a good way to overcome the feeling of imposter syndrome is don't listen to the haters. Remember how earlier I said the moon landing was fake? Well, people believe that. But far more people believe that man really did land on the moon in 1969. Unless you were on that rocket, you'd never really know. So people are taking it on faith. There will always be non-believers, even for your art. But it's the other 94% of your fans who have faith in you as an artist that are the voice that truly matters. They are the ones you should be listening to, and you should accept their compliments. So how about it? Are you an imposter? There are imposters out there, but I think if you're able to be successful as an artist, and you're not doing it fraudulently, as in posting the work of successful artists as your own, then you're definitely not an imposter. After all, an imposter is someone who pretends to be someone else. They steal the identity of another for their own gain. You are your own unique person, and the success that comes with that is yours and yours alone. If you're not trying to take the place of anyone, and you're just doing your own thing, then you're good. And now the question you've all been waiting for, do I feel like an imposter? I doubt my abilities sometimes, but I'm also realistic. 
Sure, I'm not the greatest artist in the world, and I don't even come close. But I've accepted that it doesn't really make a difference because I'm clearly able to make a living as an artist, and that's enough to convince me that I'm not somehow faking it. Even if I doubt myself on occasion, I can't deny that it's my art that pays the bills. It could be luck, it could be technical skill, it could be personal ability, it just doesn't matter to me. I much prefer to focus my thoughts on more constructive things. So there you go, those are some of my thoughts on imposter syndrome and some tips for overcoming it. If you liked what you saw, check out some of my other videos with advice for artists. And if you enjoyed the painting I created in this video, consider becoming a member of my YouTube channel to get access to the video showing my full painting process.